Well, guys, we're not quite done with the good old kids at the cul-de-sac. They had one more game before they made their big picture show about two years later. I'm in my happy place, Double D. <laughs> I'm in my I happy too, place, for, Double D! For this is Ed and Eddie, Scam of the Century for the oh Nintendo Oh my god, DS. what is this meeting? What's wrong with this? It's, it's what's-his-face. It's, what's it's one Melonhead. of Melon Melonhead. Melonhead. Yep. And, and, uh... And Splinter the Wonderwood. Wonder 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 Splinterwood, that's it. So, um, Ed and Eddie, Scam of the Century. Um, it's an interesting little 2D platformer. Not really that great, but I can I can admire some of the things it tried to do, but... <laughs> Just, um, <laughs> okay. Um, for this game, you have... <laughs> no, you know what it is? I'm looking at the character sprites, and then I'm looking at, like, the individual elements of, like, you know, oh. UI and the sort. I'm like, wow, this is such... This is such a bad device. <laughs> okay, is that all he says? Shuttle chin. We'll see. Dork. Okay. It doesn't take rocket science to figure out where you are head dorky. That's so I should probably go ahead and lay down that thick yeah, plot for, for Scam of the Century. So apparently throughout the entire run of the show, Eddie records all of his scams throughout the entire show in a scam book. And one day he accidentally loses it. And guess who found it? The kids of the cul-de-sac. And now they're on a rampage to stop, to pretty much give the Eds their much deserved beatdown. Uh... So Wait let, me a minute. Just, let me just quickly say something I just noticed that Nikki probably just picked up. Am I, look, am I correct in saying that I'm looking at a 3D body with a 2D sprite for a head? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes. That is weird. Oh my it god. That it does look a little lot. uncanny, but this yeah, you is... know what? At the at the at the very <laughs> least, they kept the kept the more the more appealing parts of the character 2D. I'm sorry. Yeah, because I was about to say that is. Fat? Crow. Yeah, that's a crow. But and yeah, I will give bird? James. A, you go first. Killing it now. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. Yeah, we should probably say, uh, James, please tell us what the game is about. I okay, hate so, birds. Um, so obviously you can control any of the three Eds, and they each have four levels to their name. Um, and it's it's your simple 2D platformer where you could literally um, uh, incapacitate enemies, chuck them, and um, grab job breakers for invincibility. Oh hey, it's a box of chunky puffs. Nice. Oh yeah, chunky pups are pretty much um, a health refill. It's uh, oh god! <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> what the hell happened there? We went rocketing. Fucking nuts! <laughs> oh, Ow! God. Ow! So your main attack is so this is one of those games where like your main attack and now is we're on clouds. stun and then you have to do more stuff. Oh, exactly. Um, in Eddie's case, he has bubble gum. Double D just throws a book at him, <laughs> and Ed, well, you know, he imitates a dirt pecker. Ah, I'm a woodpecker. You know that one thing he's most known for, mm -hmm. even though he did it like once in the entire show. Yeah. What the hell is and the objective? Game. Is just to get to the end of the game, or the end of the Pretty much. Like Mm -hmm. uh, again, every Ed has four point? levels to their name, making for a total of 12 stages, and... Hmm? Was that a key? Was that milk curtain a checkpoint? Uh, yes, it's a checkpoint. Um, they're a little spread spread thin, though, so be warned of that. Spread blast. Oh! Uh, and some, yeah. and some of the terrain is, in, is uh, transparent, though it's easy enough to tell by the uh, different coloration. What um, do you use Chunky Puffs for? They're, uh, they're your health refill. Though they're they're sort of something you keep in stock until you tap it on the touchscreen. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, aside from chunky puffs, you can also the there's chunky puffs. There's marshmallows. This is so jarring. It's so jarring, and yet I don't know. There's something I find somewhat admirable about it. Some of the admirable. Some of the, it's like some I'm... of the gameplay that I'm seeing. Right? Some of the can the way this character handles reminds me a bit of Scribble Knots. Oh no, we In can't way, get into yeah. Eddie. We can't get into Eddie. Bro uh, Eddie. Uh, yeah. We can't get into Eddie's brother's room anymore. It's locked. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You really lightened well, up the place of all those spiders, cobwebs, and dark trees. So what <laughs> is uh, now? Okay, so was this one of the last Ed and Eddie games made? Uh, yes, it was. Um, like I said, this game yes. came out literally two years before the big big picture show. Which I just realized is going to turn 10 years old in, like, next year. Jesus ah! Christ. <laughs> like, like, not even the show, but the thing that finished the show. Yes. Okay, yeah, that's so what, what was mean. the score counter on the top do? Ow! Oh. 
so yeah, the top screen, the top screen, which you see on the left, is pretty much a gameplay. Right, it's the top, bottom screen. Um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Um, one thing to be careful of is that um, each Ed has to go through. Well, let's just say they're being chased by a particular kid of the cul-de-sac. In Eddie's case, he's being chased by Kevin, obviously. Uh oh. Oh, your grandmother's more. Oh, okay then. Oh. oh. So it's yeah, Kevin. now we it's we gotta run away from him. We'll let him. So yeah, Eddie deals. With Oh. Eddie deals with Kevin, uh, Double D deals with Rolf, and Ed deals with, uh, both oh. Sarah and Jimmy. Oh. Sarah. <laughs> he was, like, right there! Yeah. He's, he's like... gonna kick you in the ass! Oh, that and he just says, screw it. <laughs> he just oh, turns golly, tail. it's Kevin and his gang of bullies. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. If from? it isn't... Yeah, you know, I can't think of any good... If it um... isn't Dork, or should I say Dork... <laughs> oh my goodness, Sorry, Bruce Works. Or whatever I... Short was called. Oh. Ow! Oh. So, so you can't, it doesn't look like you can fall forever. There's just like an underground realm and a upper realm. So oh. how does it work? Ah. <laughs> I'm oh. sorry. Why, why is that acorn just I don't know. Why is that acorn yeah, it did. just bouncing all over? That's just how it is. Easy. Oh. Oh. I mean, okay. I, I'll, I'll just go ahead and beat her up. I'll just go ahead and, well, just beat the bush. It's just... This game isn't really all that good. I mean, I can admire admire the fact that it feels like feels like the most, uh, I don't know, the most uh, functional Ed and Eddie game out of all of them. Even though, yeah, it does have some really weird uh, detentions to detail. Eddie Where are those football plants? Jumps. Not the sure. The football plants? You mean the you mean the you mean the nuts? Yeah. No, the, the football plants. The one that you just picked up for like a brief second. Oh, that! I just think they're another. Oh God. Oh, hi, yeah. Kevin. There he is again. No, sh no shit. Aren't you, like, five meters Ow! Uh, left? He just laughs like a dork. Ow! Oh, oh, God, you're dead. Oh no. oh, no, we killed Eddie. Did you? He went out doing what he loved. Scamming. We're not a brave enough boy for this. Let me tell see, you that much see, right now. We didn't even finish stage one. Jeez. Oh, uh -huh. you know, I'm, yeah. I'm surprised. There's no voice acting in this game? There's, yeah, there really isn't. But then again, I can't think of any. Um, I can't think of any. Double D, Eddie. Any oh no, I've lost my friends and they've lost me. I will go <laughs> home and wait for them in my room. Uh oh no. We saw Eddie's stupid scam book. I'm telling mom. Please, Please baby, baby sister, sister don't, tell don't tell mom. A hug will make everything better. Get away from me, you lummox! It's too late for hugs. It's still daytime. Oh, We're kicking you out of the cul-de-sac for good, right, Jimmy? You can't do Harsh. that, though. We... Just touch Brick, Sarah. <laughs> okay, that was actually... Oh, but Sarah, yeah. I must go to my room for my friends to find me like friends who find friends do. Forget it! Now get lost or I'll hold you down with some... What? Face cleans and soap! <gasps> what is this Not game? The soap! But yeah, just going back real quick. It's um, a weird walk cycle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Admittedly, you know the, like the animation was to say, um, the three. Was that was that Logan that did Jimmy's voice there? <laughs> oh hey, Sheldon. Yep. His yeah, Ed's collectibles are literally Sheldon's brothers and sisters. <laughs> oh my god. What the dolly? What? Yep. Maybe the dollies oh have become god. sentient. Jesus Christ. Wow. But yeah, sorry, what was that? What were we saying? Uh, Icky with the animations? Oh no, um, I was trying to say before, like, the character animations are just fine, like, in the two, in their three states, they're, you know, they're modeled great. Like, really? they look accurate to the characters. Um, it's just their just, pieces. Why, why yeah, are why their heads in 2D? Oh, I yeah. see, the woodpecker. <laughs> why are their heads 2D objects? Well, dirt. Given the given the DS's limitations, I'm sure I'm, I'm sure like if they did go the whole nine yards with the three three look, it just looked weird. What's that Honest, camera and, Oh well. Hello. Hello. Not, only, <laughs> not, only that, not only that, but given how they looked in 3D for the misadventures, I'd say it's kind of a it's kind of a bullet dodge yeah. because with the exception of like some characters, all, with the exception of like certain characters, they all look so difficult and weird in 3D. Like especially, they, I'm sorry, yeah, is that really a frog puppet? Do. So, oh, at one point you are mentioning that this was a pretty functional game. Is that saying a lot for Ed and any games? Like, comparatively, how are, like, it's... some of the other ones, like, the one I missed? Eh, not really, no. I mean, granted, it's far more playable than Jawbreakers, but... 
And it I has mean, a little more to it than, say, the uh, Game Boy Advance version of um, The Misadventures, but otherwise it's still... It's just, an, it's just another one of those licensed titles that fell off the map pretty quick. Well, how would you say it compares to the console version of Misadventures? You only have to look um, at this game for like five seconds to get an idea of what this game's all about. What the rest of the game is like, yeah, I get you. Yeah, like, this, this game for all it's worth, it's pretty repetitive. I would say, would you go as far to say one note? Uh, yes, very one note. So why are, why are Sarah's why are Sarah and Jimmy's dolls at five? <sighs> Maybe because... they were telling the truth. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, Probably... so is the final boss Mr. Yum Yum? <laughs> uh, it's my brother. Don't worry, Jimmy. He's too stupid to, to get past us. Where even are they? You want to tempt fate there, Sarah? Because he's that idiot's being controlled by someone who actually knows how to play video games. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh what the? Oh, I, oh, oh that's yeah. something. Anyway, I just remembered why I was... Oh, are they carrying oh. baby bottles? No, it's the face cleansing Hello. soap. Hello! Remember, it's the so oh, oh, nice yeah, hit soap. Oh, yeah, soap. You got lucky, fathead! Okay, there they go. Alrighty then, that that happened. Yay. <laughs> yeah. You know what? So ooh, yeah, ooh. you've pretty much seen the you've pretty much seen how this game works with just the two two heads by themselves. So how about we take the rest of this time to um let um Iki and Logan express their um own experiences with the with the cartoon. Um, my experience with the cartoon just to I'll just go first because it's really short. My main experience with the cartoon nice. Ooh, oh. My experience with the cartoon was very much just like Watching a few episodes in secret, and my parents being like, "No, you can't watch this show. This is gonna like rot your brain. This is, this is the kind of television that will literally rot your brain out if you see it." Admittedly, I don't have much to say on the show because I've it's oh, one of the geez. first oh, it's one man. of the first cartoons I've ever watched, and to this day, like it, when I get bored, I will watch like you know episodes online. But um, it's weird. Like I always hear stories of like how other people were you know like other kids around my age were apparently not allowed to watch this cartoon when it first aired. Uh, it just perplexes me. It's yeah. like, was it really that bad? I wouldn't really right. say it's that bad. It's more so, it's kind of in the same vein as well, how Never some parents would... Boy! You and your <laughs> shifty-eyed brethren will make a merry I do of rough no more! Whoa, that was actually pretty good. That's a pretty good impression. Yeah. I, I can understand your disappointment, Ralph, but I'm sure we can come to an amicable solution to a hearty discussion. Rolf's animals will not be swayed by your flapping jaw! Hit <laughs> boy! I forgot about the hit so boy. Wait, what is... beeped. <laughs> so wait, what did Double D do? I don't know. Uh, uh, what again, did, again, the what didn't that Double D do? Again, the idea is that like, if if there was ever an episode where everyone didn't catch on to the scam they are doing, now that they found that book, they all now know how long they've been like being duped for. Yeah, even um, though when you stop and think about it, Double D has been nothing more than an accomplice. Yeah, he, he's always trying yeah. to—he's always trying to set them on the right like way. But 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 I will say like that's the thing about about Double D I still like is even though he is still <laughs> even though he is trying to uh, set them on the you know on the straight and narrow, he's still like he's still a kid. He still wants the same thing they want. Yeah. yeah. Ultimately, they just want jawbreakers and friends. A good old mouthful of jawbreakers mm -hmm. and money. <laughs> Mostly Eddie yeah, wants money though. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. to buy jawbreakers. Double D, I think. Double D, I think, just likes hanging out with them. Like he's the one who like just wants them for friendship, and Ed has no idea what the heck he wants. Oh no! Yeah, Go no further. List. You raise the iron of rope swine. Oh no, Wilfred. Not Wilfred. So yeah, we gotta deal with this pig, and eventually you also have to worry about um trying to find a way past uh, Victor. <laughs> oh dear. So wait, does he just with stand there in his oh, three Wilfred. frames oh. of animation? Oh my god. Why was it Wolford in 3D? Oh, know. wait. He's gonna stand up what? There. Oh, wow. It, it's, just gonna say this right now. Oh, this wow. Doesn't... Just gonna say this right now. That tactic doesn't work. It doesn't? So the game does catch up. The game does catch on to you doing that. So, Wolford won't stop his animation until you're literally on the ground. <laughs> the fact that you so can do it, though, is just really... Ah. But yeah, no, going back early, what I was trying to say. Oh, Squeeze of a turn, virgins will be his! Oh, wow. Oh, Wilfred. Oh, geez, okay, let's not die from Wilfred, please. Get the hell out of here. 
stupid pig. But yeah, no, like, just, yeah, Double D just wants to hang out with friend, with some friends, even though I think he probably could, in hindsight, he probably could have done much better with um, the others, even though... Uh, I mean, to be fair, the kids of Gold Sack don't necessarily seem to mind Double D. The kids were only really I... major app. The kids are only really assholes oh. to um, Eddie because, oh god. Oh yeah, I gotta use oh, the mic here, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> well, like, the thing is, the only times they get mad at Double D is when, you know, when Eddie and he's Ed are he's pushing him around. He's directly associating with them. Yeah, the, when, with yeah. Whatever scam they're pulling off. Otherwise, they could give less than a shit. I mean, hell, there was, like, very, very small snippets in which he was able to get along with Kevin just fine. Yeah. You know, again, those are very rare. Yeah, like, the episode... You know, no, there's, like, that episode where Double D thinks he's under, like, a deathly illness, Dirt. and, like, at the very end of the episode... Oh, yeah. oh that's right. And yeah. I think I think I think all the kids were like, oh, I mean, no. did you want oh, to no. join us for for join us? And he's like, <laughs> yeah, was, yeah. God dang Victor! Unfortunately, so wait, Vic what are we doing with Victor? So for Victor's case, he's blocking the way to progression. So we need a specific item from the stage mm. in order to sway him. But unfortunately, well, it's like this is the end of the game for us. Still, I'm quitting. Well, we lost. Yeah. Goodbye. Not quite though, because I show off one more thing, which can oh, probably make nice. people feel a wee bit uncomfortable. The mini game section. Oh no. Is that what I think it is? Oh yep. no. Oh no. Ew. Oh my god. Ew. I hated this episode. So enjoy, folks. We're watching this for the rest of the video. Oh. No. So, so, so wait, what's this game rated? Oh, oh Jesus what? Christ. <laughs> no. Why? Why? What? Why what's is he the... smiling at us like that? <laughs> Eddie, stop. I mean, Ed, stop it. I'm uncomfortable. I, fe I feel unclean. So that's why I never heard of this game. I'm glad I'm taking a shower after this. <laughs> Not for that reason either. He's actually, it's just because she needs to, yeah. Oh yeah, my I need God. to get ready for something tonight. <sighs> this, uh, so what are the other mini games like? Couldn't begin to tell you because I never raised enough money to unlock them. Okay. Oh, what a shame. Oh my God. God damn, man. What do you eat? Yeah, this is actually like this. This would be like this is like what starts like an epidemic when you hear when you hear about when yeah. you see this happening on someone's body for whatever reason. Ugh. I'm mutating. <laughs> well, no, Jesus. no, it's probably just an allergic reaction. Why? Why whack is it? Can't you just do so like whack a mole? This is actually what this is. It's whack a mole. They, yeah, they, yeah, they call it uh -oh. whack a zip. Why can't it just be well, a tracing game where you drop boats? Ew. Please don't uh, let right. you pop on. That was nasty. So, yeah, um, hope you all enjoyed, for that was our look at on Ed and Eddie, Scam of the Century from the Nintendo DS. Um, okay, I'm gonna take a shower now! What was the scam? Mama! Uh, has the watcher come to a boil yet? Uh, okay, bye. See you later. Bye, everybody. Until next time, everybody. I'm, go I'm gonna go. Bye.